Mm-hmm. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of the podcast, everybody. Um, today we're joined with the society no, wait, rest- boys. Rest- restart, restart, restart. Oh, you're being serious? You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. How are you guys doing? Are you having a good time, Arthur? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we haven't started yet. <laughs> we have begun. Okay. We've begun. Nice. Thoroughly enjoying it then. All right, to be honest, if I could, I would keep the whole of the last six minutes in, but we were rolling without video as I was setting Ooh. everything up. Shame. It was quite fascinating. It was pure waffle. We got a performance of um, Walking in the Air by The Snowman by it Arthur It was really TV. good. I um, liked it. He was after after he went on a four minute rant about not being gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then happen. the ten minute rant about gays. Yeah, <laughs> that that, that, that can't stay in. Um, let's start, we should open with that, Arthur. Open before we what? before we came on the what podcast. a ten minute rant about. <laughs> yeah, no, not the homophobia. Before we came on the podcast today, Arthur posted on his Instagram story. Shall I give it a read? Or do you want to? You should read it. Was this off, give before it or read. after the first so, traffic so basically. <laughs> There were, we've been, <laughs> since we started doing all these group videos, we've been tagged in an insane number of edits. You're probably used to it, Alex, but I'm, I'm a stud. It's, it's a minute by minute Alex thing. Out. Yeah, um, you're not, you fucking ugly bastard. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I got tagged in one. There's loads of them, by the way. Where there the, are so many edits. The song started off by saying, How can I be homophobic? My girlfriend is bisexual. No, that's not the lyrics. I know, but it was in this TikTok. <laughs> And, it, and I was like, why? So was it Central C that said, was, was it? I don't know whether it was an How AI filter or a cover. And then it was just your voice. So my I was just like, bisexual. bisexual. <laughs> and then it, as it went, my girlfriend's bisexual, a drop came in and my face popped up on screen. And I was like, not only am I not bisexual, I'm also no one's girlfriend. So, um... You're no one's I just girlfriend. Put, maybe <laughs> I don't think co- anyone was assuming you were anyone's girlfriend. <laughs> not, the, not the rumor I've heard around the local football changing rooms. No, I don't, Right, so to, to quell any of this type of nonsense, I posted on my story. <laughs> I must quell this gay nonsense immediately. <laughs> I just put, maybe the comments about Paul Breach's quiff added some uncertainty into the mix because I was just rating his... It was in your video, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. it was You've done video. it in about four videos, to be uh, fair. Okay, Most maybe. of them to women, to be fair. So I yeah. said, just to clarify, I am actually straight. But genuinely, we all appreciate the edits and the time that goes out into straight. them. <laughs> um, Considering doing a group reaction to videos, some of them on Arthur TV Live <laughs> channel soon. Do you so there you go, I, I came out straight. I joke, I joke about it, but people still in my comments section are like, are you gay or you not? I guess you'll never know. Why don't you answer it? What are I you? Like, I like the mystery. What are you? <laughs> I'm an enigma. <laughs> a, w- a what? <laughs> <laughs> the, that's just, how, how are you singling out that syllable when that word? <laughs> that's Sorry, that's, that's just rude. That's an that's awful so start. emphasis on it. Awful start okay. to the right, you say it then. No. <laughs> no. I don't even say words that are even close anymore. <laughs> Mate, trying to order fish and chips is a nightmare. Why? I can only order salt. Not allowed to go order anything else. Oh. Don't, don't think about it too hard, Arthur. Fuck it out, mate. Got All right, well, well, welcome, welcome even, back, even that's everybody. A stre- oh, that's yeah. a stupid joke, sorry. Wait, well, go on, well, even that's say? a stretch with your allegations. Assault. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no allegations, I swear. Um, <laughs> so, uh, start Andrew Tate's got cancer. What? Did you have you guys seen? <coughs> I've seen. I thought he's, I forgot to say he's getting cancelled, and I was like, No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Andrew Tate. Uh, Andrew Tate apparently has uh, lung cancer. That's what I've read on Twitter today. No um, way. Now, as you could uh, see, most people when they get cancer, you feel bad for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why I'd say it? it's about even. I'm not. Hang on. Even no, I'm joking. what fifty? My hamster just died of cancer as well, so bit of a oh, sense. Bring it up. Mad respects Plato. Wait, why did you? Shout Plato, man. Why did you? <laughs> <laughs> right, wait. What? What did you <laughs> why did you fist me about? <laughs> what? Whoa, what? <laughs> the fish? allegations are going nowhere. <laughs> wait, so is this true? Has he actually got it, or is that him? Is that a ploy? I don't know. I'd be quite worried if he's if he's used cancer as a ploy. I think he might be ill. To be fair, but to be fair, he doesn't have to worry about going bald. Oh, uh, did he just Google his symptoms? He, do you think? He's already already knows what he looks like when his head's gone. He did actually tweet, didn't he? Did you see that? He was like, "Today I woke up with a beard and a full head of hair, and I couldn't recognise myself." I, I mean, that is like I don't understand what. Surely you know what you look like. He's really bald. good. I mean, surely you'd know what you look like, like with hair. Like you're not born bald, so I don't really understand that. His tweets been have been. I don't know if any of you've been following them because obviously. 
I think his brother's running his account. So it's not him. That's that's the well, weird like, thing. Like there are all these there. inspirational tweets about being in the <laughs> like in, <laughs> in jail, and it's like, well, it's not Andrew writing these. It's like when a ripped twenty-year-old goes into Love Island. Their family run their account, except <laughs> so it's, it's a Romanian. Yeah, just a narcissistic <laughs> bold bloke's gone into a Romanian. My prison. favorite one he posted was this one the other day. Read it out for the fans. Um, which I will throw it up that's on screen. Good, They're not here. My body is in jail, but my mind is not in jail. Do you understand? No. I get that. Um, to be fair. What I understood from that is that he's in jail. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that I was, was me 24 hours ago. What you're in jail? Kind of in the shit video. The shit video. So I did this. I did this <laughs> video. Quite a shit video, mate. <laughs> I did, oh, oh, <laughs> what has happened there? <laughs> Why have you done that? <laughs> Why have you done that? <laughs> Why has he done that? Oh. How? <laughs> yeah, just, Not I, why, how? I, I just watched him throw an entire beer all over himself. Yeah. No I reason. Was in the corner of my eye. Oh. Why did you do that? Oh, God. <laughs> well, oh, any excuse to get the top off. Go on. Take yeah, go on. Get it off. <laughs> off, off, <laughs> off, off. Oh, my God. Mate, how did you... How was that even possible? I don't know. Can you do it on the wide, please? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Um, I, I suppose I'll take this break to let you guys know that if you guys do enjoy these episodes and you want to watch them on a regular basis, um, they are available every week on YouTube. Where we don't have a day yet because um, we can't be held responsible for that. But don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this. You are covered in beer, mate. Yeah. What did you do? Threw beer on himself. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> oh, anyway. So should we... Try on the chip. So, well, uh, let's go. Where do you want to go for Andrew Tate or the burnt chip video first? I mean, well, so they merge into each other. So the reason I was bringing up there's no radiator. No, there's no radiator in the studio. Hang on, the dead plant. Yeah, hang sorry. On. Are you are you looking at me right now as if I'm an idiot for suggesting there could be a radiator? I think in you're a an idiot. Studio. I, just, I literally watched you. You were whole, he was completely still. I don't know how you didn't miss this. He was completely still, and he literally just went like that <laughs> for no reason. You said no, what happened? Shit, I, I and he went like. All right. Well, we can just carry okay, on. Okay, anyway, yeah, so so basically, I'm, I'm I'm sure by the time this podcast's out, the video will probably be out. Probably. Maybe not, but I did a video with the burnt chip where we uh, we were locked inside a pitch black house for 50 hours with literally nothing to do. And like, like actually nothing to do. Well, I had a Rubik's Cube, but it was pitch black, so I couldn't use it. <laughs> I had Jenga, and playing one player Jenga is... Unbelievably even pitch, boring. Jenga pitch black sounds good. How do you, even, made, put it, how do you so, even put it together? So I got, I was bored out of my mind. Should you get one game in? I got one game, it fell over and I just sat there looking at it from the, the small amount of light I could see and I was defeated. But I, the, the, my point that I'm trying to get at is like, I kind of get what he means because when I was in that total darkness with nothing to do, I was like, I have to, I spent so much of it daydreaming and just being like, I'm imagining myself surfing or playing football. <sighs> I absorbed every bit of beer that came out of that bottle. None of it's anywhere but me. How the fuck's that possible? <laughs> Nothing on the cushions, on the sofa. Oh, You're welcome. Oh, it's all on me. Like, well, yeah, well, it saves me, it saves me some money on the cleaning job of the sofa. To be fair, so yeah. you you relate to Andrew Tate, do you? So I get I get what he means there. I mean, it's obviously not him; it's his brother. But I mean, have you have you guys ever been somewhere you, where you've been like? I need to like escape with my mind out of where, where yeah, I'm at physically. I'm literally there right now. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast. <laughs> He's somewhere warm and dry. No, I, I, did, I used to camp. do scout. I used to do scouts. Yeah, that explains a lot. Jeez. We got some crazy stories of scouts. I remember the one time where I was like, I need to get out of here. I need to be free. We're in the middle of the forest. Um, we were staying in, like a little lodge thing, and um, at the time, like it was me and four of my mates. We'd been like appointed leaders because I we didn't were, know you had mates growing up. Especially in scouts. <laughs> we, were appoint- we were appointed leaders, <laughs> all right? We were appointed leaders. Did they tell you to call them their mates? Were they the leaders? <laughs> no, were they the no, leaders? they were four of my fucking mates, all right? I do have, f- I have friends. I had friends, right? They were right? just 50. <laughs> They're not 50. Those were friends. you to tell was, people what you got up to. Those are my lovers. It's very different. Um, but basically, I went into the, like, we had, like, a communal kind of toilets thing. And I just went in there like early in the morning. Like I woke up first, and there was just shit everywhere, just all oh. over, like, all over the walls. Like, like, but like, like copious amounts. Like, like, like almost more than one person would be. Like, I don't even really know how it's possible. Awesome. That's what Scouts is all about. <laughs> no, I don't think Do they get a badge for that? <laughs> <laughs> Arts and crafts. Asbo. Oh, Asbo. I don't think it's the same. <laughs> yeah. So that what, was you, the one time you I used was the like, toilet and no, escape. I didn't go in. I walked. I turned out. 
I, I turned around. I was like, oh, I'm, so I'm, you weren't stuck there and had to escape mentally. Well, no, I was like, but then I, but then you're thinking we were in a big shared tent, like a tent that had like 40 tents inside the tent. Oh, and whoa. I was like, and you're thinking one of the cult, what well, the person who did this is in here right now, covered in shit, but you don't know, <laughs> which, you don't know which one it is. And we, and I remember we came back in, me and a couple of my mates, and we made everybody line up, and we were like, somebody's got to, somebody's got to admit it. Somebody like, and we were trying to figure out who came in the tent last, who to trying to work out the time period of who it could possibly <laughs> be. A different game. Who came in the tent last? <laughs> no, that that that's that's one we do for fun. To be yeah, fair, at scouts. Um, that was the one time I wanted to be away from that place. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be there anymore. That was the only time. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Have you got any what? places you've been like? I'm covered stuck here and shit? I have to deal with it. Oh, <laughs> my school toilets were covered in shit once. Like year seven walked in. Not what I asked, but thanks for sharing. Saw that they were co- the walls were just covered in shit. That's what, how does it actually? I was going to say like how smeared, did it happen? Like someone obviously got their hands in. And oh, involved. that's. Sick. I reckon Andrew takes the person experience is better. Fart attack. Hmm? Fart attack. Well, that's what I was going to say. I went on a skiing holiday with someone quite a few years ago. Well, not not someone. It was like a group of us, and one of them just got the shits really badly. And as he went into the toilet, he was he was like, "I've got to go. I've got to go run to the toilets." And as he bent over and pulled down his trousers, the like bending of his stomach compressed it and he projectile shat all the way out the wall and onto the roof. Don't have any idea how he gathered that much force. That's mad. That's but it's quite that's impressive almost. Yeah, that is. I, I would say. I'd, I want to try it. I, I, how would you even do that? I don't know. <laughs> you can't Why like, would you want <laughs> to try that? Sounds fucking awful. See if you can like beat the record. There was a, I remember it's, there was people outside. Clear off. We're in a podcast. No, keep on, no talk. Um, just talk louder about the shit. How you want to shit up? Okay, the wall. so when I, I remember when we were at school, um, there was this guy who always used. This was like lower school. So they're gone. This was like <laughs> lower school. It's like primary school sort of time. And there was a guy that just always used to see if he how far back from the urinal he could piss. It was, it was quite impressive to be fair. He used to get the complete opposite side of the bathroom. There was a. <laughs> how is that even fucking possible? I don't know. Powerful wee. There was a guy in my year, in year five, good streamer. who Not thought it would be a good idea disrespect. to poo in the urinal one day just yeah. to see how the teachers would react, and they lost it. Just they lost laid, it? Just seems like quite an easy thing to find in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mate. Yeah, Thanks, bro. Weird. Anyway, poo your stories. Let's move on from this. Wait, how do you take? We were so talking about Andrew Tate. So ha- where's, this, <laughs> where's this story come from? Um, so apparently Andrew Tate is cancer. Uh, he hasn't tweeted it yet. He hasn't tweeted anything, but if you type in the words Andrew Tate is cancer, you get some fascinating results, basically. Now, apparently, like, they're treating him really bad in prison. Now, I always thought prison was a, a nice place to go. So of I was course. I was quite amazed by that. Um, but if I just... Uh, if you type in the word right now, Andrew Tate cancer, you get, like, fucking 10,000 results. Um, Thank Apparently, uh, he's lost 10 kilograms in weight. Um... And he looks unwell. Now, I don't know if that is also just being in prison. Yeah. Uh, I don't really think they feed you very well, um, especially not in, in Romania. Um, I've always wondered this. People are like, oh, yeah, if you go to prison, you've got, like, the best training program ever. Yeah, but you don't have any food to eat. If you're in, like, a British prison, maybe. I don't think... I, I think you can actually... Oh, yeah, you can. You can buy things from, like, the little... The terminals on the wall. Yeah. Or you could trade stuff for, like, gay sex. Don't think that's really part of the training plan. Well, I mean, it's not obviously. That's kind of like if you want it. I think like a nutritionist would put cock on your <laughs> diet. Arthur, talk about your diet. What's my diet? Cock. Do, do you know? I, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move on. Um, but to be fair, I think the I think if Andrew Tate does have lung cancer, it's probably not the prison poisoning him. It's probably like all the cigars he smokes. Yeah. You don't inhale with uh, cigars, though, do you? So I don't think get you get lung cancer from stoned. cigars. I'm trying to imagine you with a cigar, Arthur. I smoked one when I finished my A-levels. <laughs> well, A-levels. like a mafia boss. I have one friend who's just like disgustingly rich and his dad used to bring back Cuban cigars and he gave us like a box of them to go down and smoke after Can I... Can we smoke a Cuban cigar together, Arthur? Should we do it on the pod one day? Oh, I'd love that. I can't remember the last time I had a Cuban cigar. Long time ago. I, I didn't really see the appeal when I was doing it. I didn't quite get it. I just was like, oh, I feel like Winston Churchill. Yeah, Which is how I always like to feel. They look like a tastier cigarette. I've never yeah. even had a cigarette, so I don't... No. Just Have you never smoked ever? <clears throat> well, no. that's good. Is that, is, do you got any PSA for your audience out there? What? Don't do it, maybe? All right. If, <laughs> if, you, if you don't smoke, 
You can still look like me. What, 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 what is the PSA that I'm going to be giving it? <laughs> well, you actually never smoked ever. No. I've never smoked ever. Genuinely. No, you've had a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like cigarettes, tobacco. <laughs> I did go to Amsterdam interrailing once and tried to smoke weed, but because my lungs have never had smoke in them, I took a little bit in and just coughed it out and just couldn't couldn't, couldn't get anywhere with it. We also, it was so embarrassing. You know, I think it was on, it's a very similar to, thing that I, to that in-betweener scene because, like, we went to this coffee shop. We were like, oh, God, this is illegal. So he bought some weed, and she, like, gave us, like, she was, like, point from the tubs. She had all these tubs behind us, and we were like, oh, yeah, like, the brain fucker one or whatever it was called. And she gave us it, and she was like, and like all three of you smoking it, and we were like, yeah, so we got like three people's worth, got the like sheets, and, and then she was like, okay, and that was like, she was like, oh, that's whatever, like 40 euros or whatever. And then she was like, that's it, and then we were like, can you roll it for us, please? <laughs> 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 and any amount of cool that we thought we were, age like 18, just instantly gone with that. That sentence. Do you get? I, I mean, you at least just got back from skiing, didn't you? With everybody, you go on another lads' holiday. Yeah. Oh, can you actually? Were you skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding, yeah. Can you? You can. You went ski. I've never been on a skiing holiday. No. So way. I have no idea how hard I it actually. Go. It how is quite hard, but we've been like we go like most years. So I've been going since. You I was guys like, go all the fucking it. time. Yeah, we do. Why was our invite? That'd be good. It's a good question. Well, to be fair, next time there's a big one, I'm sure there'll be like a big. This one was just like a. So like Harry had like three days, so he was just like, "Fuck it, we're going." Fuck it, like just going just, on snowboard. Just doing a, a short little, short little snowboard. It was literally four days. Has anybody ever got like horrifically injured doing that? Because I know that like it's really easy to like fuck. Yeah. Shit up. So in my so I went in my fourth year of uni on the like uni ski trip, and basically in the snow parks there are like there are like these these jumps where there's like consecutive jumps. So you kind of go, you hop, you land, you hop again. And some guy who's like thought he was a bit cool bombed it down. You're supposed to sort of like slalom down a little bit, bombed it down, launched up the first one, and missed and 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 essentially landed on the ramp at a 90 degree angle rather than landing and swinging oh. up it and shattered both of his legs oh, on Jesus day one. Jesus Christ! So everyone had been looking forward to this trip all year. We had spent all this money as students. And he literally shattered both of his legs and had to just sit there in like double casted up for the rest of the holiday, yeah. <laughs> just waiting for everyone to get home. That's the one thing that Why terrifies me. Oh, no. It's like it's so easy to injure yourself, and I just and, I, and I've got like no hand or yeah. hand eye coordination at the best of time. You know, hundred hundred people have already died on the Alps this ski season. Like like people, the number of people that die and get injured is insane. It's something like I'm, I'm probably getting the number wrong, but it's something like a hundred thousand get get injured, and. And it's like a hundred ish die every year. You're not really encouraging me to want to. You know, <coughs> Michael Schumacher. We went to his run in Maribel where he he f- like fell off. What to like prove that you do better than him? No, because that's kind of in between runs. We didn't. <laughs> so he, he, he didn't I, fall off. I didn't like clock the rock. He's in hospital. He couldn't exactly keep the social self, <laughs> could he? That's it's a bit rude. It's terrible. Is that like you went out the window? But no, it's scary. Like it was like it's when you look at the run that he fell off and like whacked his head on the rocks. It's like it's just this basic rocky slalom in the middle of two runs. Like. You would not think twice about attempting it if you're a half decent skier. Didn't Manuel Neuer also? He went off on a holiday after the well, World yeah, Cup and then he, he fucking his leg, didn't slapped he? his leg. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand why people keep on going. If it's so t- dangerous. It's actually insane how dangerous it but is. I guess that's the thrill, I suppose. That is part of the thrill. But I mean, you know. You're I imagine mountain. you going down there at about five miles an hour, just being as safe as you possibly can be. <laughs> I'm a bit reckless with it. Chris is a very timid one, and Harry's the opposite. He just bombs. I yeah. just would be thinking about that constant, you know, that South Park episode where they teach us how to... I haven't seen that episode. Have you? Don't, I haven't watched South Park. Are you serious? You guys haven't fucking seen South Park? I stopped watching it when I was about 16. Well, it explains your humour. <laughs> you I look a bit know. like Ike from <coughs> South Park. Ike is the child. Yeah, you look like him. Thanks, mate. All right, moving on. Um, do any of you guys uh, fucking watch Aiden Ross? No. 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 Right, well, I've seen clips of him. <laughs> next one. Uh, I'm all, I'm all <laughs> <coughs> the Aiden Ross, basically, I, I, he's been trending recently. I don't really understand. I don't really watch any of the, sh- any of the Twitch streamers. I don't know about you guys. if Because I just... I, I watch the chess streamers, but there's less Oh, drama. yeah, yeah, me too. I just, I just watch chess streams. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually watch chess streams in your spare yeah, time? Yeah. Bit of Hikaru Nakamura, Levy Rosman. He's a Eric Rosen. <laughs> He's a footballer. <laughs> did he play for did he play for Celtic? Can you see? Nakan Maru. Mara. Basically, Aiden. I wanted to talk about it on the podcast because 
It is actually fucking mental. Aiden Ross went live, like, he's a, like a Twitch partner streamer. He went live on this, like, new streaming platform that they've made called Kick. Oh, yeah. And apparently he's got, like, a 95 five rev share so they're trying to use that to like get people to come over but it's funded entirely by gambling nice. like like the crypto Wait, gambling what? stuff yeah is it so apparently the whole thing is like it's owned by like a gambling company and they're basically trying to create like a a twitch competitor um but yeah. basically what happened was aiden ross went on there and just decided to like stream porn nice just live and he was like it was this weirdest thing because normally he does like I don't know he kind of sits around with speed. That's how I first ever saw speed was like on his. Well, stream. they can do that on stream as well. <laughs> I do, you probably fucking could to be honest. I don't. Wow. I mean, I think most streamers do anyway. To be honest, if you're gonna be live for 14 hours, can't do speed on the stream. Actually, speed's underage. I think he's 17, isn't it? Nice. Well, don't high five me for a small. Ch- oh, fine. <laughs> oh, that's a good connection. That's a great connection. So you oh. just high yeah, five about connection. not. <laughs> Why you just high five over speed being underage. I, I d- over not shagging an underage not person. If you don't yeah. want to high five over that, Sorry, I think that's all right with you. Yeah. Bit weird. Have you got a problem with us saying that you shouldn't? No, I don't. I just think here's the high five. Here's the shagging people that are overage. Yeah. And then you go, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit weird. Not what I was fucking saying. But basically, he mm. streamed porn to his viewers, which is obviously fucking mental because let's face it, most of his viewers are like, probably 12. I thought he's always been a bit of an Andrew Tatey, like, don't watch porn, like it's... it's well, that's what he was doing, yeah. Like, like literally detrimental up, to up mental until like this makes you less of an alpha male or whatever. Yeah, up until like two weeks ago, he was doing this whole, like, Andrew Tate told me not to watch porn, I've converted to being like, I've converted to Islam because Andrew Tate does. He was <coughs> he gonna go to Islam as well? Yeah, he was going to go visit Has him. Have got any witty jokes about that, by the way? About not what? very witty ones, no. no. I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth... <laughs> about it's Aiden <laughs> Ross converting to Islam? No, just Andrew Tate being a... It, it, don't worry, Arthur. It was a culturally relevant moment a few weeks ago. Oh. So don't. I don't want to have to explain it to you. Explain it. Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. I don't want to do it. Fair enough. I think we'll get in trouble. Is it, so. sens- is it culturally sensitive? Insensitive. Oh. It wasn't us. It, it wasn't us who did it. No. What converted Islam? No, I haven't converted to Islam. There are so many layers to this now. Why are you making more? What's going on? If you could convert to one religion, what would it be? <clears throat> uh, probably Buddhism. Why? I think it's more about this you know your personal your personal state of mind and ha- happiness you're obtaining within life rather than necessarily believing in any sort of arbitrary rule system. I'd become a Jedi. I was say Jedi s- okay. Why did I take that answer seriously? Why am I giving you a real answer <laughs> when you're coming back with Jedi? You can, there's all, there's all different types of religions that like. There are lots of different types of religions. Why does everyone think of, like speak about the clouded ones? Just go for <laughs> the clouded ones. Like what? I don't know, like well, is it Jainism that they believe like they can't harm yeah, you can't, anything? Yeah, you, you can't like they, like they can't even if they're sweeping. They can't. They're worried that they're going to sweep like an ant or something. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? A re- wait, what's it called? I think it's called Jainism. Yeah. Jainism. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Spell how you would assume it's spelled. Yeah. Jain. It's one. Of, it's one of the ones where it comes down to. Um, it comes up a lot in debate when it comes to like extreme forms of religion. Just going like... Oh, so it's an, it's an Indian religion, apparently. Yeah. Um, it's one of the world's oldest religions, apparently. I've never heard of this. Pretty good liberal set. Why have I not heard of this ever before? Yeah, no, it does say... No, you're correct. That's yeah. actually fucking mental. Yeah. Wait, you can't sweep just in case you kill an ant. Well, they, they're very, they're very, very like, cautious careful. with it. Yeah. <laughs> How? Or it's they, they sweep instead of use a hoover in case they just like suck up an ant. A religion where what the only rule is that hoovers are permanently banned. I think it's, no, just, it's just, just the like application of go, the rule. That yeah, you, you just like no go harm. about life in a way that you can't harm anything. But it's it's difficult because surely that's impossible, right? Because like if you're just walking down the street, you can hurt something. Exactly. Yeah, so but that's the thing; they they careful. take every measure to not hurt. I Do mean, they walk down the street not. like this? Because I mean, surely when they wash their hands, like they're killing bacteria. Like you know, there's a certain amount of stuff that you can't help. But I think that it's like their their fo- the focus of the religion is like not causing harm to animals or anything any living creature. If you could genocide awesome. one what species what? of animal, like one animal, you could get rid of it forever. What would you pick? Jellyfish, hands down. I hate them. I've got a phobia of them. Yeah, they're, they're pointless as well. Yeah. Wasps, no one. Wasps. <laughs> Wasps. <laughs> Wasps. <laughs> you can survive what? You know, again, jelly, like I think about hundred people a year die from jellyfish things. Yeah, no, but you can. You can just be swimming in the in the sea in Bali and not even see it. Just go. Oh, what was that? Minute later, dead. 
Wasps, wasps, jellyfish, p- both pointless beings. But wasps don't need do to survive. be there. Yeah, but they don't need to be there. What, what's, what's a wasp like? I think job? they do have a little role in the ecosystem. Helping Ant Man out. They're literally nothing. Else. <laughs> helping what? Helping Ant Man out. They've literally got nothing. Jellyfish. What, what's I'm a jellyfish's job? It's I think turtles eat jellyfish. All right, cool, but they can eat someone else. True. <laughs> Open oh. the broadening your horizon. What would you kill? Um, I was going to say something awful then. Probably like dogs. Dogs. What's wrong with you? That's just like, that's the worst You're one. You're sick to in the head. <laughs> be funny though, wouldn't it? Would it? Everybody would be so sad. You are sick. <laughs> imagine if I. Imagine if you woke up tomorrow and everybody's dogs were dead. Oh, this reminds me actually. <laughs> what? Go on. <laughs> this reminds me. Oh, you got a new did YouTube you, video idea. Did you? <laughs> I did kill, you kill killed Plato? all my friends' dogs. <laughs> I would never touch your hamster. Yes, don't. I don't yes. remember what it is. I can't remember what well, it is. Rats. Is about. rats a good one to just get rid of? No. No, I like rats. Oh, rats vermin. are quite cool. They're literally classed as vermin. You know, growing up, I used to... So, you know, I'm from Jersey. I used to live on a beach. Like, I literally used to have, like, at my house, like, you know, I could toss a stone into the ocean. Yeah, so like nice, a beach. Nice yeah. Little yeah, like we have beaches. Like, lots of sand, seawater. Yeah, beaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of seaweed sometimes, but... You could say life's a beach for you. Yeah, it was. And there was a boy who used to come down after school. So like obviously we get home from school, we just go to the beach. And he used to ask me to do football videos of him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now he's got millions of subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> that boy turned out to be... No. Um, and he had, a, he had a pet rat. So he would come down to the beach with his rat and Scabbers. go in the sea and swim with it. Yeah. And it was just really cute. And he was like, rats, they've got did this... The, did the rat turn out to be Peter Pettigrew? The bubonic plague sort of gave them a really bad reputation. Yeah, I do get a bad rep if you kill off Yeah, have you ever seen... Uh, there's actually a really cool speech... Oh, actually, there's a cool speech. It was a Nazi speech in a movie called Inglorious Bastards. You know, Christopher... Sh- is it Christopher... Sh- Walken, Wal- Waltz? I like rats. No, that's Christopher Walken. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken. Walken, that's it. I mean, the... Who plays Do- no, that's the other one. Who's the German guy who plays Dr. King Schultz in Django? Oh, I know it's... Yeah, I know who you mean. Christo- I'm pretty sure it's Christopher Waltz. What's yeah, I think it is. Who cares? Anyway, he anyway the he's day. the sort of like Jew hunter and he talks about like rats and basically does this speech of go like, like, why don't you like rats? And then the guy goes, like, I don't know, they, they like, carry diseases. And he's like, ah, but I'd like put it to you that any disease a rat could carry, a squirrel would equally carry, but you'd like welcome a squirrel in, but you'd shoo away a rat. And he used it as some like sick analogy to like hate on a sp- specific ethnicity of people. So what was cool about that? But I, I was just saying like, it, it was quite an interesting kind of like, you know, we hate rats yeah. unnecessarily more so than others. Well, there and you go, guys, on this podcast. If you're a rat, you're welcome here. What's it called? Like pretty tax, not pretty tax. It's like attract. Do you find rats pretty? Do oh, you? No, like pretty privilege. Yeah, pretty privilege. Yeah, yeah. Squirrels are pretty privilege. Yeah, <laughs> they. Do, that's true. Yeah. You know, as well, co- cool little not fact. pretty tax. You know, that's in, like you know, in London when we had the uh, the bubonic plague, the the black plague. Well, I wasn't those around. Are, those are some. Dark you know, we had it. <laughs> That yep. Some people initially started thinking that the cats were causing them, so they ended you know up. happening with COVID. They ended up slaughtering the cats, and then Pussies. because the cats were dying in waning in numbers, the number of rats were populations. Well, were did you see the WhatsApp group chat? And it it's made just the been black leaked. plague go crazy. Like the government WhatsApp group chat just got leaked, and they like genuinely planned to like have everybody kill all their cats like two months what? into COVID. Yeah, they they thought that the cats could carry COVID, so they were going to ask everybody to kill their own cat. Wow. They, this was on the news the other day. I have the clip. It's like it's on Twitter. They were gonna kill their. What else? They were literally gonna ask, but not they were gonna kill it. They were gonna ask everybody to take out their own. Well, because the cats were spreading COVID. They thought originally that they were part of the problem. Yeah. Wow. So they were gonna ask everybody to just fucking kill every cat in Britain. That's that so seems sad. a bit of a rash measure. Surely just. It seems a bit like overkill. Yeah. There's a big debate about like making it so that you you're it's illegal to put your cats outside. Have you seen this? No. Because like in terms of like UK wildlife, the number of like bird species that are like going close to extinct is like massively on the rise because everyone's got cats and the cats just go out into the wild and just like hunt all of this like natural wildlife. So like cool. there are a bunch of like easy activists. Way to, easy way to overcome that. Instead of a cat get get a bird, let that out. <laughs> Completely counteract the problem. <laughs> True. If you buy a bird, right, just to let it back out again, that doesn't mean that there's one more bird out in society. Uh, it just did means you add a plus? What on that is the bird. exactly what that means. Yeah. What do you mean it's, it's not it? one more bird? It's oh, you mean you take a bird, yeah, you bring it inside and you let it out what? again. It's the same. Just like a Saturday night, eh? Yeah. 
So, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury happened this week. Yeah, it did. Cool. Although, what a fight. Mm. If, you, if you had loads of, like, everyone got into having pet birds, you'd start getting breeders, so yeah. the sur- there would become a surplus number. Yeah, yeah there would the be. breeders would get the little eggs and sit on them for them. <laughs> 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 small, small nest, isn't it? Yeah, well, depends how big your bum is. <laughs> <laughs> you say the egg would go up your arsehole. Is that not what you, what do you do with your eggs? You're gay. Hard boil them, <laughs> normally. Hard boil fry them. I fry them normally, to be fair. I prefer poached. There was a rumour on the internet for a little while. Did you see it? That you can hard boil an egg by putting that up your butt for long enough. Didn't work. Depends if you're going to run. But I, think, <laughs> I think it's quite um, a set temperature inside your body in general. Yeah, if you warm up, though. Yeah. Anyway, so moving on. on. What was on the next holiday one? with it in. Sorry, Karen. What did you guys think of Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury? Oh, I thought it was a, it was embarrassing. It was a, a, a it was a it was a show. It was it was really good. It was a hug fest, wasn't it? Was it was a hell of a performance. Boxing. I'm enthusiasts glad Tommy everywhere won. Everywhere were up in arms. I'm glad Tom. Did you want Tommy to win? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I Jake, don't. I, I don't, don't like Jake's I, ego. I don't really like Jake Paul personally. Yeah, I don't like him. Um, don't think he's a great bloke. I always joke that we have like history, even though it's like just the. I'm just taking a piss. But I don't mind Tommy as well. But Tommy know, Fury. Uh, right. But the thing is about it is that I just, I don't know, controversial maybe, but unless it's KSI, I'm not really bothered about his fighting. That's so true. It's becoming really stale. The whole like matching one random YouTuber against a random TikToker. It has to be somebody so you have um, like investment in. Yeah. Really, unless it's like one mm. of our mates. I'm honestly like I'm not bothered. And even when it's one of our mates, I'm like. Oh. Like when it was like Weller and KSI and like they, they didn't like each other or KSI Did you Logan. go to Weller, JJ? No, I didn't. I didn't watch any of the fights. Did you not? No, I didn't. No, that was a that was the I still think that was the best card because I don't uh, everybody on I there. Think I knew any we knew I time, knew everybody really. on there. Yeah. Pretty much. So it was like, you know, every fight you're like watching one of your mates get in the ring and like fucking and it was like crazy and obviously it was like the first proper one like that. It would like never seen anything like it. Mm. Like that whole event was like absolutely fucking insane. But they hated each other. It just made it so good because you actually cared who won. And, and that with, whole build up to that same fight. Same with Logan and KSI. Like they hated each other. People at the time. are constantly trying to like recreate that, aren't they? Like the the real beef, but it just yeah. doesn't really land. Like no. like with that because I think that with that you could really tell that they at a certain point they really just wanted to fucking beat the shit out. Of each KSI other. and Jake will be like that. KSI hundred percent. That's hates why it's Jake. the only one that's interesting it's the only now. One that, yeah, and. You know, I just feel like it's been dragged on for so long, but obviously now with like the whole Misfits card thing, I guess the plan is there's going to be so many more. But I think after the KSI Jake one, that's me. Just yeah, like, I've I'll probably out, still right? put them on if there's something going on. Like, I mean, I wasn't really bored mm. about the Jake Paul Tommy Fury one, but we ended yeah. up watching it. Um, it will be one where people go like, "Oh, the fights on. Should we just come around have a few beers?" If and you're watch awake, it? yeah, yeah. If you're awake, <laughs> you'll just stick it on. Yeah, exactly. But like, uh, yeah, I'm not as invested. Like when it was like KSI Logan as well, like. We all properly got around, like t- like eight people fucking watched it. It was like unreal night, like both of those back to back. And uh, the Gib one, I mean, flew out there. You weren't there, were you? No. No, I went out there. Everybody was there that time. Um, Wait, there was at least twelve of us rude, apart from you. Um, that was, a, but that one, <coughs> that was also that really rocked me wanting to watch any more of them because when we went out there, the first two days of Miami were like unreal. Like it was so good, and then. The actual fight happens. It's over in like, what, three minutes? Yeah. And then it was just like, we're all, st- we're all stood there. Everybody's just kind of like turned around. It just was like, oh, well, yeah. wh- what do, we, <laughs> what what do we do now? Yeah. Like, where do we fucking go? I, d- I just don't think it's a particularly entertaining way to settle a dispute. If, I have, if, if there are two content creators that hate each other that I enjoy watching, I would so much rather than make endless videos on each other, just digging up the... Diss tracks Making were unreal. Di- diss tracks were great. Mm. Do you reckon? Do you reckon diss tracks will come diss back? Diss tracks were so good. I can't see them coming back. Would you do yeah. one? Would I do one? Would you do if the opportunity presented itself? Would you do a diss track? Who am I doing it on? I don't. Know, I think maybe Max. I'm not gonna make a diss track on Max. Sorry. Let's say you have a, a fallout over the podcast, <coughs> right? <coughs> who do you actively dislike? Yeah, who do you not like? Tell us who you hate. There's no one I'd hate though. I feel like if, if there was like a massive public thing and they did one first, then I'd be like, fuck it, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it Ooh, there was a bit of anger it, in it there. Wouldn't, it well. wouldn't be like, 
serious me actually rapping, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you Would you do a sing? classical ballad? <laughs> I'd, I'd take a leaf out of Chris's book. What did Chris think? England is my city. <laughs> the star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> remember that? No, I do remember Chris's one. Yeah. Did you ever do a diss track? I wasn't. I, I didn't have YouTube back then. Did you, you must have. No. I did one. Who did you do one on? I did one on Will, George, uh, Parasitic called Kavos. Yeah, you saw the views and were like, I'm getting several chunks of I this I was pie. really honest. I was just bored. Yeah, it did uh, seem such it good flop- fun. It, like, it flopped. Like, first week, it flopped. Like Got like 50,000 views in like a week. And then just through like, sh- after the Cybermen ones blew up, like they just like end up getting like half a million views in like a week, uh, mm. like two years down the line, which was fucking wild. That was a crazy time when the sideband did those diss tracks. Yeah, that was that. That's the that was the era when you needed to hop on it. It's so hard to figure out which ones were real and which ones weren't because like half beef of it, wise, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like some of it is, when some of it wasn't. But I've never really managed to get to the bottom of it. Well, that's the thing with the there's there's got to be because I mean all of the lines come from somewhere. Yeah. So there there's there's truth yeah. in every bar. And you, you just did, got to you did a roast on locked in. Yeah, I did a roast and it it didn't go down well at all. Wait, what did you do? So yes, I Yes, you did the, the you did that rap, didn't you? I did that roast kind of rap, it rhymed. It wasn't <laughs> rapping. <laughs> it was just a roast poem. But basically I, I got set set to do this. Everyone did a roast battle and I got put against this girl and I went up to Who her at the it? start. Uh, her name was Steph. Okay, it's never I can't one. remember her. She does social media. She does like beauty and stuff. Oh, she's like, she did. She's, she she's, in, was she? she's very respectable <laughs> in the in the beauty world. And I went up to her at the start and I was like, oh, is there anything I can't like, you know, make like diss you about? Look she's for like, inspiration, no, no, yeah. Go for it all, all ears. Like, it's completely fine. And I did it. And for some, I think I might have just gone too far um, <laughs> because uh, she just evidently didn't like me after that. Was it about, you said something about her boyfriend, didn't you? Uh, you called her a skirt, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Call, well, that was the first part. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't like me after that. I just went like, Steph. Everyone knows that you're a skirt because it kind of rhymed. It was a terrible. There was very little like foundation to any of it. <coughs> I was just being, you know, I was just like, you know, what would be rude and funny at the same time, and said a bunch of things. But um, I think she took it fairly well. But was I? I think I just might have just overshot a little bit. It was fun. It's quite funny looking back. It's like a, <laughs> a little harmless rap, but uh. Yeah, it's a weird one because everything you say, there's got to be some element element of truth in it. Well, that was the thing. Like when I did mine, like I kept it pretty. But I, I, George and Will got it really easy, and then uh, uh, yeah. But it, you, oh, you didn't you don't like Cavos, do you? There's real beef there. Well, it's not. We don't. Like, I I don't care. Not not now. Not in 2023. But you did it back in the day. You hated him. Well, no. He, I mean, he made a lot of videos on me. His and face I, is on the dartboard. Yeah, no, the yeah. The, the joint. I've I've got a picture of him. It just says, "Remember why you carry on." <laughs> uh, no, I. It, well, it wasn't like um. I, uh, he obviously really fucking didn't like me, which is fair enough. But for me, I was more just like the story was more just kind of annoying. I was just like because what would happen was it wasn't that the videos were annoying. It was that you'd always have somebody who asked you about them. Mm. And that was more annoying. Because, like, people could upload... I upload videos of people all the time. So I'm never going to be bothered about people, like, making a video on me if they like if they feel like they wanted to do something. But it was more that you'd no, always have... You'd always get a message whenever, like... So it like, ever happened. Like, back in the day anyway. Not anymore. Um, or it'd be like, have you seen what... you seen the new video? Have you seen this? Uh, but and, and I'd just be like, no. Because why would you... <laughs> I never understood that. Like, why would you watch them? No. This is this is kind of what we were talking about the other day with notifications. I, I have to see everything. Yeah, I don't understand because <laughs> you've got all your notifications on and you, yeah. you read your DM requests as well. Yeah. But I yeah. avoid everything. <clears throat> like I will read pretty much every message. The only thing I see is, I is the in. TikTok fan edits. That's it. It's the only thing that I, I, I actually see. But apart and that's just because it comes from my feed page. But <laughs> apart from that, I avoid everything. Like no, I've had my think... Twitter locked down for like I don't know. You've, inv- you've been involved in a lot of drama over the years. It's also just the Twitter. Got- my Twitter account got so big where it was just like, where at a certain oh. point it just get. <laughs> <laughs> it right. did. Retweet us then. No, because it's dead now. <laughs> it's what? a dead account. But at, one, at lockdown, when it was like, what actually was it that sealed me off was uh, just uh, all the Minecraft stands. Like, because it would just be... But did you make a video on the Minecraft YouTubers or something? No, we went bowling. 
Oh, yeah. And after the bowling event, after the great bowling event. Um, the great bowling event. The great event. bowling event. I decided that I just was, I didn't really need to know what everybody was tweeting about. And it's mental because what I realized was as soon as I locked all of that shit off, I don't hear a fucking word about anything. Like I wouldn't, re- I wouldn't even have known. Like somebody messaged me about something the other day. Um, <coughs> I didn't open the message for five days, and they messaged me being like, "Urgent! Like, have you seen this on Twitter? Did that? It's really bad. Whatever." And then I open it five days later, and I wouldn't even have known that that, that, that stuff was even happening. If it but wasn't did you, would you? Do you not? Do you not want to know? No, really. I used to. Used to be like genuinely like addicted. Yeah, maybe like that's I, I more because we're know. kind of newer to it. I used to have like to here. know. I used to yeah. obsess over every notification. I'd read all of them. I'd like all the tweets. Whereas now, like, I'll tweet out like, oh, podcast suggestions, and then so I'll forget. Read... I'll forget that I even tweeted it. And, and you, four you days don't later, read your message requests. No, nothing. I find it so interesting. The thing about the message mm. requests for me <laughs> is that there's nothing in there that if I'm not following you, then I don't want to see it probably. And it's also like a lot of it's just fucking weird. <laughs> Like oh, mine are quite normal. Are you, what are yours like? Yeah, mine are fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Sat- Friday and Saturday nights they get weird. What did? What message did That's you? So you true. got one. What was uh, the message yeah. you got the other day? You have to narrow it down. The one about was it sucking your cock? Um. Oh yeah, they were like, oh, by the way, I wouldn't mind. They like they like, oh, said something really nice. I didn't like. I didn't reply, <laughs> but they then just message afterwards. Oh, by the way. Wouldn't mind sucking you off. <laughs> and I was like, oh, all right. That I got, I'm going to see if I, because I screen recorded it. Some girl sent me the wildest voice oh, note. Oh, mate, the amount of voice messages are so, yeah. they are interesting. They're so. And the videos as well. Yeah. Not naughty ones. Well, that's the thing. So, <laughs> so Which is fucking ridiculous. I've got, I don't know if you, I've so my Instagram ones are fairly normal. They tend to be more like pickup stuff. Snapchat. I, I should have told you. Your Snapchat is people can add you Why on Snapchat. Why have you got your Snapchat open? Because most people. You're 27, are, mate. But most people are. Not, <laughs> you're 28. <laughs> you're fucking you're 34. 34. You've got your Snapchat open. Just because most of the time, you know, I, I'll like. I, so basically, I don't want to. be grooming someone. I, fi- <laughs> I don't want to. Like with Instagram <laughs> stories, there's sometimes stuff in my life where I'm like, I don't want to announce to everyone that I'm just hanging out with a few mates and having a few beers or whatever. So I. Snapchat's Put it a more on the Snapchat for the, cl- for the true fans. For the re- yeah, for if the you're a real fan, guys, add Arthur TV on Snapchat. It's Snap Arthur TV, I think. But then I was like, for Snapchat, and then, you know, like, people often, like, you know, will be like, oh, I'm, I'm taking my dog for a walk. Here's a cute picture of my dog. So 90% of it's really nice. I can't believe you're sat there opening these messages from strangers. And then 10% is like, like, the number of girls that send me videos of them getting railed being like, this could be you. That's and I'm like, like, this can't, <laughs> this can't work. Should I see if there's a reason why? This I, could I, be I, you. If I go through... It's a weird way to try to pick someone up, isn't it? <laughs> this could be you. I'm, I'm, I'm already voice. getting shagged, but you could be doing this if you want. I'm like, what? <laughs> Fucking hell. i got to see if there's a I voice note. I won't be able to find this voice nearby. note. I'm, guys, I've never, I, like, I, I avoid Have a little look them. now, because I'm so curious what they'll be like, but... Mate, I avoid checking them because they're just fucking odd. Let's see what they, let's see what they say. But basically, it was just oh, the craziest DM request I've ever got was from James Charles' mum. <gasps> I've got it. <laughs> Listen to this. Can I play this? Yeah, go on. Is this like wait? <laughs> she just goes, give me a time and a place, and I'll come over and give you a rim job. That's respectful. Like, oh, all right, that's kind of weird. What's this? Hello, I am Chloe too. Are you? Do you have autism? If you have autism, you are like that makes you a hundred percent more sexy. Because I fancy autistic people. I just <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> word. It's no. just bizarre. I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell him I'm sorry. She's in a club sending that, which is the wild thing. Why are you on people's minds when they're out clubbing with their mates? Hydrate, Clucky. I want to use this pod line. Pod line. Use this pod line. Fuck you. What? Do you want to fuck me? I 
They're all they've all been northern so far. I wonder if it's a uh, I don't know. What the fuck? I wonder if Wait, does, wait, does every, wait, every single like Friday and Saturday somebody will send you a fucking message like that when they like people out clubbing drunk. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? <coughs> but they are funny to read. Yeah, it's just it's quite funny to listen to. It's a wait, nice. Let me see. Oh, he's gonna see, get upset. I've just been added to loads of groups. I've just sent a picture by a guy called Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a voice note. Your content, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Where are my voice notes? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just got one where somebody just call, somebody just calls me fatty. <laughs> day one of asking I'm Alex if he likes kids. They've sent it every day for the last twenty five days. Not responding. <laughs> um, a voice message. All right, what's this going to be? It's three seconds long. Happy birthday! Three weeks later. That That's kind of nice. nice. Oh, nice. happy awesome. birthday! Thank you, Ezra. I just find it interesting. The annoying thing is, though, Instagram has these really bad uh, filters now. So I, in my hidden requests, I rarely ever check. But the number of times I'll look in my message requests and be like, oh, this is a normal message from, like, you know, someone just being like, hey, mm. want to go for a coffee? And I'm like, oh, well, that's... Why it's is my that, chance why is that in <laughs> why, like, why is that gone to my <laughs> fucking hidden request? Fucking fancy an espresso. <laughs> Whereas then... I fancy you respectively. Respectively? He's not making them up. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> fancy you. <laughs> you're, go oh. you're gorgeous. Your bulge is massive in your last video. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, uh, it's somewhere between sweet and bizarre. Do people, yeah, do, it's just uh, say hi to George Clark for me. Nice, there you go. Hello, Fucking love. hell. <laughs> Why? I get a lot of people, to be fair, who ask me to send messages to George. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but that I get a lot of that. Yeah, that was the annoying, That that they're the most annoying ones when they go like, I had someone the other day write a really long paragraph like, hey, how's it going? My dad's passing away from cancer. I'm, I'm doing a fundraiser. Fucking later. irritating, isn't it? Oh, just, oh, I don't care. And then, the, and, it, <laughs> and it was like, you know, this really long story. And then the last message was, so if you could ask Chris MD to put this on his story. And I was like, what? It's what, it's what first of all, if, you'd been, like, wanted. If, if I'd read up until there and he was like, you know, it, you know, if there's anything you could donate or stick on your story, I might have considered it. But it was like, you know, didn't didn't have any interest in my money or viewership. Just wanted me to pass it along to Chris to get him to share it. It's, it's what he would have wanted, like, oh. though, to be fair. What, it, I mean, it's what I would have yeah. wanted. Um, what was I going to talk about? Should we? I, I wanted to touch on just a few more things on the Jake Paul, Tommy Fury fight, uh, purely for podcast clips. Did you see the Logan Paul interview <coughs> where the guy <coughs> told him that he loved him? I tweeted that out. And it did that you tweet it out? It? Yeah. What? No. What happened? What? You have you were you were watching it with me? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I do remember now. Yeah. Well, for for those of th that are at home that don't know, is basically Logan Paul was getting interviewed in one of the round breaks, and the is this what you're talking about? Yeah. Like the interviewer comes up to him and he's like, "Have you got a message for Jake?" And Logan goes like, "Keep going, bro. I'm not going to say a lot, but you know, keep going. You better come home with the trophy or whatever. I, mean, I love you, bro. I love you, bro." And the interview goes, I love you too, man. Thanks. If that was, generally, if that was me, I don't know I'd ever show my face ever again. No. I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah. I'd be so, but, but then I would hate to commentate any of those I would never be able to sleep at night. No. I'd, I'd be like, staring at the ceiling for weeks just being like, what the why fuck? Are you, fuck like, you, you're an idiot, man. Yeah. Like, why are you saying I love you too, man? <laughs> what, what the fuck do you think just happened? He thought Logan was <laughs> so He thinks Logan Paul loves him. He thinks Logan's Logan Paul just finished. looked at him and gone, oh, I love you, bro. I, I like, think what, they know each th other. I think they know each other. Because there was a bit of banter in the like, locker rooms like, after. Why, why would you do it on the mic? I love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? To be fair, Logan's delivery, because of the pause... He like pauses and then he looks at him, doesn't he? Does he does look him in the eye and he goes, I and love he you, goes, bro. I love you, bro. And so I can understand maybe the slight confusion, but like even so, I think I just go, oh, thanks. Yeah. I, or I'd go, probably not about me. Or like big love or something that could apply generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love you big too. Big love, man. man. They should have kissed. I yeah. think if they had kissed, then that would have been even better. It reminds better. me of that. Have you seen that? It's, this one's much less awkward and far more sweet. The Emma Chamberlain, Jack Harlow one. Yes. Where he goes like, I see you inside. Love you. She's like, love you. And then gets all like. God, I wish Jack Harlow would say he loves me. Or Emma Thank Chamberlain. You. Emma Chamberlain. Either or. She's. Do you ever get this kind of like thing with people like where 
like attractive and sexy are two very different categories and someone can be like one but not necessarily <laughs> both there are some examples so i think emma chamberlain has very like sexy aura without being my like what i what i would consider so my type attractiveness you I, would, I would say you're willy in her but you want to want to talk to her yeah hey, uh, no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> No, because she's got a great personality. Her, like some people actually have like a sexy or I say this all the time about what's Do you her name? find men Dame Judy Dame Judy men Dench. Men Dame Judy Dent. She's like 70, so I wouldn't look at her and go, You're textbook attractive, but she's like got a sexy aura. Do what about what Rita? I mean? Do you think she's a sexy aura? Rita <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just so much better in person. I get a high five every time. <laughs> yeah, we do all these videos and I just have to say nice, but yeah. now I get the Oh, look. Rita Aura. What about Kia? Oh, he's only just got the joke. Oh, I didn't understand. <laughs> what about Kia? Kia? Who's Kia? The drink. Do you reckon that's a, got a sexy aura? <laughs> Kia Aura. That's, that's, we'll move on. Don't know that one. I don't have a fucking. Should have just gone <gasps> Uncultured. Uncultured is what you guys have shown there. Wait, who yeah. is that? I don't like an idiot. But you know what I mean? A is there someone who would go like. Aura. A drink? Yeah. No. What? What? Like food, but a <laughs> little, little bit more soggy. It's not, it's not the part they can do, 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 do you know what I mean, though? Do, is there someone you can go like, I wouldn't consider them textbook attractive, but I find them very sexy? Snapshot eye. See, I'd say the opposite. He's not textbook <laughs> sexy, but he is very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> He's the ma male is gay. Anyone, anyone that's that way around for you that you're like, oh, they're very attractive, but they're not sexy at all? Men. <laughs> yeah, probably. Who? Uh, I'm trying to think of someone who's like... <laughs> who's like what? What I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I, I'm going to... I, that I'd be like, I get loads of people think... I guess that would just be more like type and not type, wouldn't it? Where I'd just be like, "What is your type? Long hair, penis." <laughs> You're so weird. A long hairy penis. There's nothing mm. weird you about know what? gay, we, we gay were, people. I think when we were growing up, Emma Watson was always a few years older than us. So in Harry tends to happen with age. In the <laughs> always, sometimes, sometimes she like wouldn't be. Just as I thought, every, I was catching up. She got a little bit older. <laughs> <laughs> I just now can get her. Every time a Harry Potter movie came out, she was always like in those movies, at like a year or two older than us. Yeah, and I was it. always like, I always because you know, obviously, you get the same is, feeling looking back is, at them. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like you know, as you get older, like your who you find attractive changes. Well, yeah, I fucking hope so. <laughs> 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 but, but if, if not, if then you've not, mate, you're in fucking. You, we're gonna fucking get you down oh, to the police sake. station, mate. I'm literally saying the right thing. I'm saying that <laughs> that when I was guys, don't you uh, don't you find that when you get older, uh, the people you're attracted to change? Yeah. Um, who was that? Who was that person that got done recently for saying like, oh, like that's the thing I love about teenage girls. I get older, they stay. The same age. Oh, or for TV, wasn't it? Yeah, fantastic. I, I don't know. That but sounds, but that Emma, sounds Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> is. So she's now like, what, like 30? Something, yeah. I, <laughs> and maybe she's maybe she's not that old, much 32. older. Maybe she's like late 20s, but I've always just thought she was. In I'm the gonna, final Harry Potter. I'm, I'm guessing 30. I think I was. It's good that you've said the final one. I was. It's good, mate. I just. Was I a fresher at uni, probably? And I just remember when that came out. I don't know like, what that means, mate. She's a she's a gorgeous woman. You were you, you at uni when the Ooh, final came out? Don't know. Ooh, thirty two. Thirty two. Oh, so she's quite. She's a good. Yeah, she's a good half decade. She's one point six five meters Close tall. <laughs> one point six five meters. What's the height cut off for you guys? <sighs> anyone, anyone taller? Anyone, anyone taller? So anyone five, taller four. than me? See, I always thought this is such a wi this is uh, this is such a wi I've I've always figured that I like it like height didn't matter that much to me. But now I'm growing older, I definitely realise I don't want to have a really short child. I don't know why. Why would you be dating a really short child? Well, so there's a there's, <laughs> there's a shortcut off. But but, but now but now you can they can be as tall as they want. I don't know if I'd go for a girl much taller than me. By much taller, how much? What is the what? 
what yeah, what what size like if she was six foot six, I'd probably be like, that's just too tall for me. Sorry, I'm like you know. So six foot five girl comes in. <laughs> but she's, six foot like she's attractive and got a sexy aura. But, <laughs> but now I think I'd be like, if, if if a girl was like, I'm four. And she every time you get older, she gets. Because there, there was this there was this girl on TikTok the other day. They got interviewed at the gym, and she was like, I'm four foot ten, and I was like, I saw that one. Four nine. She she's cute. She was a very attractive girl, but I was like, I was like, no, couldn't go anywhere near you. Yeah, that's too. Literally, because you're so low. You know what I do find weird? Though? I, had there's, ex, there's I had an ex who was legally a dwarf. <laughs> right. A dwarf is someone with is dwarfism. This true? Is this actually true, though? It's not, there's not a cutoff point where you just, if you're under 410, you've got dwarfism. Yes, it is. Dwarfism no, is like a dwarf, genetic. Yeah, you're legally like, classified as... No, you, you can be, be classified as a dwarf, though, in height. As a small person. I guess money yeah. was good around Christmas time. A little person. Time. Huh? I guess money was good around Christmas time. Yeah, it was fantastic. A lot of work. Unbelievable. <laughs> This is one I'm really curious on your take because you yeah. like to be a, a bit more of a cancelly type person. There's some discourse that just means on, I'm an idiot. on Twitter that really tall guys and really short girls are a creepy combination. Well, is this because of that whole Sean Array stuff that on TMC? I don't know who that is. Have you seen that show where it's like, there's a show where there's this oh. girl with dwarfism. Anybody and want a short sours? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. She, there's this girl who she, lo- she looks look, like a kid. She does look like a kid. That's she looks different. Like a kid. I, I'm talking, if there's a guy... In, uh, there might be some glasses. If it's a six foot three guy and a four foot ten girl, a lot, like, there's, yeah, there's this it, on mean, Twitter going like, bit, it's strange, oh, why would you want to date someone who looks like a kid next to you? And it's like, well, if you fall in love with someone and they're significantly shorter than you, how's that your fault? The thing is, like, I mean... Well, you could use the same with age then. If that's your but, fault. But <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah, how's that my fault? I, I fell in love with them. They're, on, they're maybe on, 12, but... Because <laughs> on, on 90 Day Fiancé, it's obviously a really big thing. And oh, I bloody about hell. Plug the channel. <laughs> Get it back on, everyone. But I think I think there's a big difference between dating someone because of a feature like that. Like, if you're 40 and your girlfriend's 25, it's weird when Big Ed is going like, I'm only going to date girls aged 18 to 21. Such because he's Irish, dating them. mate. He's dating them because they're that age. Fucking hell, is that a shot of sours? It looks like it's out of Harry Potter, by the way. Yeah, treating it like a, a glass I of d- port. Polyjuice I, potion. I don't know why we try and have, I try and take get serious conversations on this because it just goes Ah, fuck it. There's no point, is there? No, but it's, it's interesting, right? No, but Jen, I, it, I agree. If, I agree. If, if, I if think you're a 40-year-old guy and you're like, I think it I'm is. falling... <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> no, sorry. Why is it... Why is it hairy? <laughs> Nothing's hairy. <laughs> Look, at, okay, swap glasses then. Let me rinse this one. Mate, there's hair in the... the you need to rinse these. Yeah, it is hairy. They're George, really hairy. George, it is hairy. hairy. George, these are hairy. We'll just fish it out. <laughs> George, fish so all the hairs out. No, George you put them so in filthy much. glasses. It's just dusty a little bit. <laughs> it's George, very dusty. Mate, it's so That's all right. It's just a little bit dusty. George, you want, if you just go... If you, if you go outside... Oh, what? Just fucking go home? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the kitchen's to the left. You just rinse them out. I mean, it's a bit fucked now. Thanks. Go rinse them. <laughs> we'll f- neck yours and I'll take it out. Fuck. Mm. So that was fine. You don't have to wash yours out. Oh, oh for goodness sakes. What was happening? Like? Cam's just put a, a thing in the group chat saying, I've drawn the sexy six. Oh, God. And Lewis has put, they've made Arthur TV look like a gay twink. <laughs> well, so they've done it accurately then. Which one am I? You're talking about they've done a good job. That's actually a great photo, to be fair. It's That's actually, they've cool. actually done a fucking unreal that job. That is very cool. Have you seen that we've been, um, we've, we've got a name that we've been dubbed? <laughs> What's that? We haven't talked about it, have we? The Chaos Crew. Chaos Crew. Yeah, we spoke about this on the last podcast episode. <laughs> we got clips talking about it. George, mate. Why does it taste like not apple sours because it's been in there for a long time and you've also put it in a cup with god knows what <laughs> you stop fucking moaning won't you s- <laughs> won't you wash it out i'm fine i'm sipping mine oh okay i'm not gonna make you wash my cup I was gonna do that. yeah that's a good boy okay, so she's out there to the left you can't miss it there's <laughs> a good I boy gay. Just call me good boy again <laughs> 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 that was that, that was now that was convincing, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> Joking. You right? Yeah, it was locked. He's locking us in. Yeah, I locked us in. This doesn't taste good. <laughs> it tastes like I don't know. I can. I feel like I could taste the bits in there. Well, that's because there, <coughs> there are. I'm coughing. You know that scene where like Hermione puts the has the cat hair and the <laughs> <cough>? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let's see what Hermione is the cat hair in the polyjuice potion. It's like um, that. An awful lot of Harry Potter references for someone who doesn't know Harry Potter. What do you mean? I actually don't. I've I've literally watched the films through once. Are you serious? Yeah. You what do you mean? Not what I said. What is <laughs> <laughs> You've actually never seen them more than once. No. What the fuck, George? What films do you watch? Like short ones that normally end in a climax. You just the Sidemen Sundays. No, just pornos. Oh. Okay, fantastic. What should we talk about uh, while Star for TV's away? Um, I don't know, but I might. <coughs> I'm not covered in beer still now, which is good. <laughs> well, I honestly, I don't actually even know how you fucking did that. I, I, I felt it slip, so I tried to correct it, and by correcting it, I just launched <laughs> it all over myself. <laughs> which it wasn't exactly ideal, but. Um. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Um. Well, I, I, one thing I did have written down here. I was going to kind of wait until um, Arthur got back, but that was uh, Snapshot Eyes officially opened his comments. That's disgusting. So Snapshot Eyes opened his comments up, George. Nice. We've been tagged. Um, he, want, uh, he wants to do collabs, doesn't he? He wants to do collabs. Uh, we'd love him on the podcast, by the way. Yeah, get on. Like, on either of our podcasts, to be fair. No, he's not going on mine. Do you not want him on yours? No. <laughs> what is going on with this? Shitty little hair. What are you doing? Can I get the hair off me? This has been a disaster for you. This whole... And that is one hell of an apple sour drink, by the way. I've already drank most of it. Not most of it. I've already drank some of it. <coughs> <sighs> well, I don't even know why we have apple sours here. That's not a purchase that I made. I mean, it was used with my card, I'd assume. All right, well... Oh, I reckon I've got, we've got an Arthur coming back. Arthur returning. Come on, Arthur. Come back. Mm. Welcome back, mate. Welcome. You missed me. Nope. Yeah, no. Welcome. No, we did. We've got a couple more topics. Fill up then your we cup. Can, then we can wrap up. Drink. Boys. Mossel's off, in the words of the Black Eyed Peas. Underrated band, by the way, Black Eyed Peas. Fantastic band. How often do they get played in a club? Genuine question. Hardly ever. Not the enough. The amount of bangers that they have. That's criminal. Are you serious? They get played all the time. They don't. Where, t- tell me, look, the e's d- he's, he doesn't know what a club is. <laughs> How many times have you been in a club and heard Black Eyed Peas and been like, oh. Yeah, rarely, if ever. It's always the same ones. It's you I wait, got a feeling. No, no, that never comes on in a club. Um, that might come on really in a club. Where's the love, y'all? Where is the love is a banger, but not a club tune. No, it never comes on in a club. There's, they've always got what the same What music do they play in gay clubs? Uh, to be fair, if you go to a if you go to a gay club, yes, you know, I've dumb. been to a couple. Heaven, heaven, <laughs> heaven's not really heaven's. It kind of depends what night you go in. Heaven's a place on earth. It is. Yeah, it's in For London. What it's worth. Have you have you never <laughs> been to heaven? You ever been to a gay club, Arthur? Oh, do you want to go? I'm not talking about the club. I think I have been to heaven because it was one of the only clubs open on like a Monday night, and my boyfriend went. <laughs> 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 I always go to Fever. Fever, freedom. Why do you coming. always go there? Uh, because, well, I haven't actually been there recently a lot, but everybody on TikTok is either gay or a woman, so <laughs> it, it opens up. Everybody so on which TikTok one are you? is either gay or <laughs> Yeah, so what category do you fall into? I'm, I'm the word that I'm not allowed to say anymore. Let's go for anomaly. That's a, that's a synonym of the word. Oh. Uh, what's he What's he mean? An, uh, an, an a whimmer. It sounds like that. Then no women. <laughs> wait, wait, what word? Cheers. Ah, oh, fuck it now. So Paul Breach has opened his comments up after. I don't know if you've seen this. I was wondering if you were going to do a video where we'd go through some of the replies, but they're all just tagging you. Yeah, it's not really anything that is like uh, content worthy <laughs> in terms of an actual video. But um, it was <laughs> <laughs> people <laughs> thoroughly unenjoyable. People were asking basically like to. It, like if you wanted to, you said do you tag me with people I should do a collab with. Oh yeah. And I, I the thing is, like people keep so on tagging me, but licorice about it. I'm blocked still. Oh, don't say that. I detest licorice. It's very um, not pleasant. Whoa, sorry, whoa. I, I really need to say that. it's got an aftertaste of licorice, and it doesn't normally. This is making me miserable. This drink. Go and on, I, sorry. What's and I barely had any. What, what are you saying sad. about Paul Bridge? Well, I just oh. uh, the fact that he's opened his comments up. And he wants to do collabs and stuff. I just feel like that means... Does that mean he's finally got desperate? Can we New get era. him on? Can we get him on the pod? If he wanted to come on this podcast, we will have you on, Paul. 
We will have you on. New Come era, on, Paul. Baby. We, like, if people want to go comment on his new thing, being like, look, we'll have you on. <sighs> you know, we can squash whatever beef that we have, man. I just wanted my cameo. If you'd have just done my cameo all that time ago for Theo Baker, then this wouldn't have been a problem. Maybe if we if we say that this podcast is a twenty year old girl's back, he'll come on it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Why is he? Why are you not laughing? The apple sours is just <laughs> you've had hardly any the apple sours has got you this depressed go on next some more and I'll, I'll value I'm not drinking anymore I'll value you as a human uh, well I don't I don't care frankly <laughs> um, oh, well I kind of got to the end of my topics deep. I only have one left go on uh, and then I'll ask you guys what you've guys been up to and well, we that'll, be, that'll be short <laughs> so uh, do you guys know who Ollie London is is he the guy that transitioned <laughs> into a <laughs> Korean <laughs> Person. Carry on, sorry. Didn't Why did you like react like that when you heard the word Korean? <laughs> he did you say Korean? He got he got like facial oh, reconstruction to surgery to become a no. K-pop <laughs> idol. I yeah, think. he he got. Oh yeah, got and then I saw him like chat shit about someone about them doing. I can't remember. Wasn't Smith. he trans for a week as well? Oh, yeah. like, so he he made a book being like why well, detransitioned, but he didn't detransition from like what like female to male or male to female. He detransitioned from Korean back to I don't know, not Korean. Um, but then he made like a hot, he sold like a book. Oh, it sounds like he was born in the wrong career. <laughs> it's not even a joke. There's not even really a joke there. <laughs> you, just, you just used a word that sounded the same. And he's born. That's how, that's how jokes work, mate. Otherwise, it, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, there'd be no such thing as a joke. And just that's literally sentences. how a play on words joke. There's not even work. a joke there, mate. You just did a play on words. <laughs> So basically, he My fucking lies. Straight facts. <laughs> he's, a, he's a grifter, and what he's doing right now is he's trying to. I think he's trying to grift like right wing people by like being like oh, ID yeah. transitioned and they're. Well, Jer- he's a grifter. Jer- Jeremy Star. I reckon I'm more a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Jeremy Star. Jeffrey Star. Sorry, there's so much going on. There's that, and then there's Jeremy Star. <laughs> I don't know what Jer- Jeremy Star. Jeff- <laughs> Jeffrey Star. You've been watching too much gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Wait, so what you said about Jeremy If there's Star. a gay porn star called Jeremy Star, my career's over. <laughs> I'm going to Google it. Actually, no, it's not. People are, I don't know why I said that as if people are going to come. Oh, no, not. People come, come back from being gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean I'm never going to live down the allegations. Not Stop the calling them allegations as if it's like a bad thing. <laughs> accusations? Accusations is... What's, what's, the, what, what's the difference? Between, what's an allegation? That's just alleging you that something. Yeah, but they just normally have negative. It does count your connotations, yeah. yeah. Well, so many Asians going on over here. What about dictation? And what about Ollie London, the Asian? Nice. <laughs> well, Ollie London, <laughs> but Ollie London is an Asian, though. Well, that's, uh, come on, that's not. It's twenty twenty three. No, you can't become Asian. Well, I don't know. <coughs> it doesn't. No, you can't. It doesn't work that uh, way. Tell that to every gap year student. <laughs> Oh, I found myself. Oh, shut up, mate. You've got baggy trousers on. You eat noodles, mate. So yeah, so. Oh, my God. You lift out a backpack for him. <laughs> You're not an Asian person now. Yeah, but uh, he came after Sam Smith. Um, basically, just so fucking ripping into him. Sam Smith into, just into them. Into them. Thank yes. You. You, you're right. I apologise in advance. <laughs> yeah, we did. We... we we, we try. We did. We tried we, really we hard. We got it wrong yeah. in that podcast. We, I a got a couple, we got a couple of comments on the last podcast. But but like, I think people appreciate that we try. They know we try. Well, a couple, there was one person, and I will, I will, I will call you out. There was one person who was like, um, you guys uh, should, should have made more an effort. We got it like 85% right. Yeah. And I think that's... That's, that's a pass, Mark. That's, that's a good... That's, that's, a, that's an every, every, level. Every, that's every an person a. I know that It would be a bit different if we didn't try at all. Yeah. That would be fucked up. We did put a lot of effort in, and, people, we were active, and people still get snarky. All we were and this is why people find you fucking them. annoying. But every person I know that's got preferred pronouns, like if you get it wrong, they go, "Oh, but they, like, you know, they're they're not my pronouns." Remember, and like I've I've never really met anyone that themselves goes like, "I can't believe you possibly say that." They just go, "No, because they know that I'm an mind. idiot." Yeah, they, yeah, they they know that you. Tr- uh, I think I feel like as long as you try, into your, it's ingrained in that ninety nine percent of people have. He, him, or she, her pronouns. So, like, 
to go against that grain is going to take a bit of getting used to. Yeah, we were yeah. literally conditioned into that, like, as children. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. It wasn't until I was well over 18 that I first heard about other It's a very pronouns. recent thing. I mean, I saw an unbelievable tweet the other day, about, uh, actually, about a lot of stuff like this, where it was, like, people forget that, like, 20 years ago, you couldn't even legally, like, marry people if you were gay. Why have you done that reaction when I said <laughs> legally marry people when you were gay? Huh? He's disgusted at the homophobia of 20 years ago. What do you think about gay marriage? What do you mean what I think about it? Would you do it? No, because I'm not <laughs> gay. <but. gasps> Clarification at last. But, um, I mean, pretty sick if you are gay, isn't it? I would say... Pretty it, sick? No, gay people getting married is No, not sick, not sick as in... Uh, sick as in... Well, well, <laughs> wicked, mate. No, that's well. Obviously, gay marriage is good. What, what's? Why is anybody even asking this as a question? I'd, I'd I don't post, think marriage. I'd, I don't I'd think. Ma I'd, 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 I don't I'd, think marriage I'd, is I'd, good. I'd, anyway. what? I'd um reversal. I'd do a little reversal on that question and say, why is that even a question you want to ask? Because if it's that's a thing people should still be having an opinion on. True. What about religious people? Oh yeah, they can get fucked. <laughs> no, that was a joke. I'd like to be, that was a joke. You're uh, finished. For comedy purposes, that was a joke. Um, no, what do you mean about, what about religious people? Well, as in, like, where do you draw the line when you go, like... Where do I draw the line? Wherever they want me to draw it. Is there a religion? I don't care. Well, you just said it, it, it isn't a thing that people should be allowed an opinion on. So do well, you think you if someone says, on it, but I'm like, religious and therefore think that gay people shouldn't get married... Is well, there I mean, that's, that's is their, their opinion uh, valid? That's their religion. I mean, I'm not saying there's a reason. Is their I opinion don't, valid? There's though? a reason I don't follow those <laughs> religious speakings, Arthur, and that's because uh, they don't particularly align with mine. But it doesn't mean that they can't follow that religion. Fair enough. What are your thoughts, Alex? Um, I think gay people are like all right in that, and they should be allowed to do kind of whatever. This is su such Wait, a wholesome I'm, part of the podcast. You are one, aren't you? Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah. Although I, I keep it. on getting fucking tagged in videos now because of you. <coughs> of what kind of videos? Well, because you and Lewis making that horrible fucking horrible little comment that you guys what made comment in that video. Make? Oh, and I asked if you were full gay. You asked if I was full gay. Well, I didn't know if you were bi or gay. Well, I'm bi. By what? <laughs> I don't know. Bisexual. Would you? I <laughs> That's what I wanted. I was trying to think of a something funny to say. Like well, mm. I was going to go, bye. Yeah, you've been trying that your whole career, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so bisexual. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why I went on to that as if I wanted to move on to the next topic of conversation, but uh, apparently that was what came out. What have <laughs> you been up? What have you been up to? Just straight white guy stuff. Just that's well, okay. That, that's, how you, that's how you stop people accusing you of being gay. <laughs> 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 All right, okay. I've turned to face you now. Um, why? What do you actually do in a week, Arthur? In a week? Well, I have a... A full-time employee that comes to my house from sort of like 10 till 6. What, a rent boy? <laughs> Homophobic. Um, yeah, that is actually bad. I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure that is a rent boy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure sort of, you know, look at TV shows, cut them up, script them, bounce ideas off each other. Oh, that's So, like, you cool know it. the way you do ideas where you, like, you get something and then we react to it? No, I steal them all. Okay, but still, like, you know, you, like, I tend to spend, like, several days... Like breaking you spend something several apart. days on a ninety day scripting a video, yeah. On a ninety day fiance, yeah, video. I do, several yeah. days, yeah, hours, yeah, a conglomerate number of hours, yeah. If you if you listen to each video, there's like an amalgamation of jokes, analysis. I do I do sometimes a bit. I'm like, not going to do that. But I, look I believe bit you. Psychology on Google Scholar. Nice, sometimes man. wait, what? Pick up patterns of behavior. Wait, you you analyze a behavioral pattern? I do, yeah. I didn't realise this is what you've been doing in your 90 Day Fiancé videos. Yeah, after. I'm that's, why, that's why people, I think, like them, because they go like, it's not just someone going, ha ha, what's he talking about? It's like Whoa, a... Whoa, far Oh, 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 so, oh, oh is, is that going to be me? Well, no, because we all make that type of content as well, but like, I think people like also appreciate sometimes having someone go, actually, they're really interesting, you guys probably missed this, but if you go back, he said this, and the reason that narcissistic people do this is that they get this out of it, and then the next clip, they get the thing out of it, and you go, see... Didn't you and mention go, Damn. so you do all of this and then you mentioned you were just gonna you were gonna fight Big Ed? What was what was what? The, you, do you remember you said that? You said you were gonna fight Big Ed the other yeah. day. Yeah. So Big Ed doesn't like me because he's a classic, he's a he's a narcissist, he's emotionally abusive, he's a horrible guy, and I call him out. Oh, for I it. can't understand why he wouldn't get on with you. Yeah. Um so I so I basically so he obviously doesn't like the fact that I call him out and analyze his behaviour like that. So he, his agency were like, let's set up a kind of like, let's jump on this trend of YouTuber boxing. But he's like 56. He's five foot, no, he's four foot 
10 or something. He's got um, no So he's neck. legally a dwarf? No. He's got... Um, what's he... He's, he's got... Uh, no chance of winning. <laughs> oh, I, I know what it's called. Um, anyway, he's, he's got Stumpy a condition. Legs. Wait, he's got a disability? <laughs> yeah, that's why he's got no neck. That's why he calls himself No Neck Ed. He hasn't got a neck... So you, you won't be able to rock him then, surely. He's got literally got... Uh, the he best be chin on earth. Yeah, lit- yeah, yeah. The chin's just like built in. Built in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just so stable. It's like trying to fight Patrick Starfish. <laughs> Starfish? Wait. Patrick Star, sorry. Oh, the that SpongeBob character. <laughs> oh, your knowledge is good, man. I thought you were talking about that drag. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick Star. Star. Is that right? Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Patrick Star. Vic. <laughs> yeah, from SpongeBob. <laughs> no. No, a drag queen. No. You're yes. Jeffree Star. No. A Vic star. <laughs> no, 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 no. Patrick no. Star's the one from SpongeBob. No, no, no. There's a Patrick. <laughs> no. Type in Patrick Star and you'll come up with. <laughs> you'll come up with. <laughs> <laughs> That's Patrick Star. That's Patrick Star. Sorry, there's, pa- there's a bloke called... There's Patrick Star. There's no way they've named themselves after a fucking Spongebob character, right? <laughs> Patrick Star. <laughs> Male Beauty and Makeup. Is there a drag queen called Spongebob by any chance? No. Or Plankton? Why did you have to type in... Like, type in Patrick Star. The <laughs> no, that was. That was state... St- st- uh, S-T-A-R. Big as things called clip or file syndrome. Oh. So, yeah. He, so, so what clip or file syndrome? Clip or file syndrome. It's basically a genetic disease where... Yeah, you have a shortened neck and shorter stature. And you're, they live on average to 40 to 50 years, and he's 56, so... Damn. So you would be... So well. you'd be beating up a man who's on his deathbed. No, his I'm life. just saying he's doing well for himself. <laughs> but either way, yeah, so... His, his agency did that, and then they were like, actually, maybe let's... You've, you've been going six years too long, sonny Jim. Alex, I can't wish death upon another crater. It's like no. those memes, you know, when you Google, like, how long does a rat live? And it'll be like five to six years. And then you'll be like, oh, rest in peace, Arthur TV. <laughs> nice. I haven't seen those memes. Have you not seen those? No. No, they're great. Fair enough. They, they, sound fucking, they sound really cool. Give <laughs> us another one. <laughs> they sound really good. <laughs> How do we even get onto this topic? Can you make sure you find some more for us? Big Ed Boxing. What was the topic? What were we supposed to be discussing <laughs> right that now? Was the end, that's the end of the podcast. No, Big what Ed was the boxing. final topic? Because we started it, it and went it on a tangent. It was Ollie London. <laughs> Ollie <laughs> London. So why did you bring him up? Yeah, we went on a tangent. I was just going to talk about how fucking you can't pretend to, you can't transition to be Korean. Mm. That's just not right. I don't know. Get a visa. <laughs> it does it's not another the one. Same. Where, why would you? Why would you care if someone was like, I feel, you know, I feel, I feel at home and part I of the culture. Feel. I mean, I'm. That is know. not what I'm saying. I'm not saying. <laughs> he's genetic- I'm not saying you're. Sa- he's genetically modified his eyes so yeah. he can look Asian. Genetically modified? You mean he's had surgery? <laughs> genetically yeah, he's modified gene- means not he's, ge- like, he's not he's genetically. Like, he's he's like not inserted the genetic hole. makeup of a Korean man. <laughs> like the whole, yeah. Um, but no, with, like with, with, with a lot angry, of this stuff, right? Turns into a Korean man. I get the. I get that it's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably work to some extent. What do you mean? Probably genetically modify herself. What, so you get angry and then you become <laughs> Korean? Oh, wait, angry? <laughs> yeah, like the Arthur, Hulk, can, you do, Arthur oh, can you do an impression of somebody who, when they get angry, they turn into a Korean, please? No! Are you mental? <laughs> Just imagine that at home, guys. So then he doesn't get cancelled. You'll have a bit of homework for you. <laughs> you can, you can oh, have all the fun of on. it. Oh, sorry, this is not allowed. Fucking drink it. That is vile. We're not finishing the podcast. You drink up, mate. <laughs> there was no um, need for that, really. What yeah, have you been no. up to this week? Oh God, I've been doing all sorts. <laughs> mm, like what? <laughs> I've been what is the life of a TikToker like? Uh, He's not really a TikToker anymore, are you? <laughs> I don't know what. If I someone asks you, what would you say? Because you do pump out YouTube videos now, and they bang. So are you a YouTuber now? Yeah. What are you? Um, who are you? I'm just, I'm a creative. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I like to think of myself as the modern day renaissance man. 
<laughs> you are such a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> right, I feel like that's enough time to wrap up this. Thank you. <laughs> no, wait, he's got this fucking drink. Drink it. Also, do the outro. Uh, I just wanted to say, drink um, it. I want to say a huge thank you, everybody who has been watching the podcast episodes. Uh, it, it does mean a lot that you guys have taken uh, so well to the setup. Um, as I said, it's uh, it's going to be a bit strange. I, I've I've managed to get all of the episodes up on Spotify now. Uh, and it'll be Apple Podcasts next, so they're linked in the description. So feel free to go watch them on there if you want to watch them as an audio listener only. Um, but watch them on here, because uh, then I actually get paid. Um, be tough be watching them as an audio listener. <laughs> Listen to me, means. <sighs> Silly boy, isn't he? Just sign out. It's all right, we can do that one again if you want. You're going to hit a zero. Cut. Can you finish a drink? Take two. Come on. Finish it. Are you mental? There is no way I'm finishing I that. I fucking finished mine. I'm 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 deathly ill. <laughs> that is a big old McLeod. Just McLeod. You've got cliposytis, whatever it is. Clipple fast syndrome, and no, I don't. Cliposytis. Is that a fucking <laughs> dinosaur? No, ableism. We're gonna end the podcast on ableism, guys. That'd be the f- uh, that's the thumbnail. Bye. Love you. It's a bit gay. They're all men, aren't they? <sighs> Love ex oh bloody hell well, <laughs> love exclusively no, the podcast has ended long ago. Bye everyone. Bye. Say goodbye, George. Everyone's bye. <laughs> nice, thank you.